building to building to tank in low elo is fucking trash well i think that's what my problem is is because in like the other like in paragon i was top 100 players and so i was used to playing people that knew what the hell they were doing yeah and i would just build according and so if i do what i should build at high elo in this game i'm i get fucked up in low elo because the rest of my team well that and you're just i'm i'm, I'm just and being i'm just being i'm everyone. just being real with you though you're really bad right now like you oh, need I know I'm you bad. need to understand like, no, like I, yeah I, so like I know building building tank isn't even really going to get you that much value yet i mean i'm saying that you can't carry with tank you can sort of but i don't think garen's path is optimal to build tank like if you played um if you played like maokai and you tanked it out and like built like strong tank items and just took up boatloads of space you could actually just deal more damage than everybody period so we've got garen banned um you're gonna go urgot is that like your second pick yeah that's who i always pick second okay unless you want me to pick someone else no 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 i want you to pick what you want to play it's whatever you want. If I play. pick turn the mirror, I'll probably end. That's what happens every time I've tried him. <laughs> he's he's a tougher one. You can you can leak him into your champion pool after you get the fundamentals down, okay? Yeah. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, never mind. You got the. Uh, oh, we need to change this. Though. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't know you uh Ergot very well, but hold on, I can find out again. Just like a good starter page for sure. Uh, you're gonna go press the attack. So go ahead and build your runes real quick before it gets too late. Swap the Conqueror for press the attack. Yep. And then swap the Alacrity, the next thing down. Swap that for Tenacity. So the Which next... One? Nope, nope, nope. That Triumph's good. Tenacity. So you've got attack speed, Tenacity, and Lifesteal on this bar, by the way. So you want Tenacity. That's good. Yeah, now go over to good. Sorcery. Hang on. Let me, let me pick. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. My bad. Now go over to... Switch Sorcery for Resolve. Who are we facing? We're facing Trindamir. Uh, switch that to bone plating. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, middle right. Sorry, middle right, and bottom left. So overgrowth oh, is giving you yes, and you're going to switch that the uh, the attack speed. No, you're gonna, yeah, that's good. Good job. Then the attack speed you're gonna switch to attack damage. But yeah, you were right about no attack damage that to the left. No. To the left. So, oh, the that's attack damage, that's yeah. Force? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and save. No, you're good. I, I know. It's weird. This is a it lot of bullshit. It's like magic damage. Uh, switch to teleport. I need to change this, yeah. I would teleport on this guy, yeah. Teleport's good here. Um, goal here is to not die early and get to Tabby's. We are going to go probably Doran Shield. Um, and we're just going to go Tabby's and... Who are we facing? So we go shield instead of instead of blade. Yeah. Normally I would take blade on Urgot. Well, yeah, you could try to bully this guy. He has teleport. He doesn't have ignite. Go ahead and take Dorn's blade and just be a prick and just auto attack the shit out of him. Every time he comes up to yeah. Minion. Yeah, you need to be ready to go at level one though to harass him at level one. Yeah, I'll take my E first so I could throw him. Oh yeah, 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 that's good. That's that's actually good. Yeah, just walk right up and and the minions, and then if he decides to trade, just e him and beat him up. So you played Paragon. Did you play any real time strategy games like StarCraft? I did like in high school, but that was in two thousand five. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because um, that's one thing I recommend to for newer players if you just play through like StarCraft on hard mode or something. Just okay. to get used to, to I have it upgrade again. Yeah, just to like, you just get used to the camera controls, like the movement and everything, the speed. It's really helpful. Yeah, I used to play a lot of RTS. That's why I kind of like. It's simpler RTS. Um, yeah. I just the reason why I say this is because I know you're a little clunky with movement right now, like the camera stuff. Yeah. Um, it does help a lot. Uh, that's what I used to play StarCraft before I did this game, and I got pretty high elo in that game. And it just helps a lot. It's really easy to keep up with League if you play StarCraft. That's why it's like it's like telling somebody to go lift like a dump truck before they go lift some milk jugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> like the game just makes you learn how to like manipulate your camera quickly and how to see everything quickly. And especially if you go try to play the ladder in that game. Holy fuck. 
You just get like you gotta be really good in StarCraft. Yeah, yeah you you gotta you gotta gain you gotta have like 200 APM. This game you really don't have to have high APM. Only time that you have to have IP, high APM is when like I had you split pushing last game and looking around the map and doing all sorts of shit. Um, that's where it goes yeah. up. But like generally, it's a pretty chill game. Um, you don't have to do all these like F keys. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the F keys in this, but um. Yeah. If you tap like F1, F2, F3, all those, it goes to your teammates. Um, yeah, I was going to sign them on my mouth. Yeah, I mean, you can, but you I'm can, crazy. as you get better, you can do whatever you want with your hotkeys. I'm just telling you from my experience, I just manually do it for the most part. Um, you really don't need to go too crazy with that. But if you, if it's comfortable for you, go for it. We want to go to the bush on this one uh, in lane. Yeah, always. Go yeah, okay. I always, dude, I always try to get a lead always you need to understand you can just win a lane because someone checks the wrong bush oh i mean especially with ergot you can yeah punish the shit out of go him. into um go into his try actually the trinomere try brush the try brush that's right there yeah exactly so what we're trying to do go ahead and press tab we're facing evelyn i guess or no elise yeah this is good she could start red they mostly will start blue and low elo but it's possible for them to start red but yes, I always, dude, I will always try to get a cheese lead every time. And I want you to I want you to think like that because you need to do not view your opponents as you're learning this game. Do not view your opponents as being better than you or anything like that. You need to view them as people you need to get fed off of, like ASAP. And I do the same thing in fucking high elo. I do every every game, like every matchup, every lane phase, I always try to just I always try to squash people, unless I'm playing a very specific champion that can't do that. Like Twisted Fate or something. Um, alright, well, let's go to lane. <clears throat> oh, wait, he was po he oh, popped his head in, uh, yeah. whatever. Go into, um, let's make sure that we're blocking the minions, and don't shove them, just last hit. Don't if he, yeah, don't, no, no, well, you can do that. I, I, I don't want you doing all the fancy wave management stuff for now, though. I don't want you okay. getting in that habit yet. Just because it's it's unnecessary. No, you need to walk him to the wave. No, 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 no. He can't auto. It, next time, EM. If he does that again, EM. As I'm sure you know, I play a lot of Trinomir, so I know what he doesn't want. Just fucking EM right away. If he goes to... Oh. Do not let him auto. Ever. <laughs> if he goes to auto, yeah. Now back away and kind of like kite it and auto. You have to auto him though. Okay, okay. The whole time, yeah. And just keep faking like you're going to auto. Back. Just like I taught you with Garen, just keep faking. Yep, now back away. Yep. Touch the brush too. That can help. And then go right back to it. There you go. S stay in this dude's butt cheeks. Oh. Um, kind of predict his spin, future reference. So, like, he's going to try to spin away from you a lot. Don't let him farm. Don't let him farm. Do not let him farm. Okay. Walk up and auto him. Just fake too. Remember to not overplay it. Just constant fakes. Yeah, good. Keep faking. I would eat him. Slow down, make sure we hit that shit. Now keep harassing him. Uh oh, we're under turret. Yeah, that's bad. Take a point in Q and, and uh, press and use control Q next time. And uh, yeah. You've got your. Well, we already took a spot. Oh, if I didn't miss that, I kill him right here. Yeah. So no, what die. the problem is, you're rushing that E. Okay. Just don't feel like you have to to fling that out. You know. I like yeah. that you're trying to pressure him though. Don't worry about dying. Don't worry about feeding. Let's wait till we have double Dorans and then TP. I need to get no, 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 no. Okay, sell that. Sell that. Sell all that shit. Just sell, sell. Double Dorans. Dorans blade. Now just TP and block the wave. Oh, we're just gonna freeze it here. Uh, just Q him, I guess. Yeah, I would E him there. Okay. Now let's try to keep the wave right here. Since we died, now our job is to just try to catch back up by just holding the wave for a while. I know I told you not to try to do advanced wave management stuff, but like here, we're just trying to hold it on the side as long as possible. 
Go walk up. Walk up and fucking. He's no fury. He has no fury. I want you pressuring him. All lane phase. Now eat through him. There you go. Now fucking just smack him. Walk right in front of his face. You have double doors. Walk in front of his face. I don't care. Just walk, 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 walk. Auto. Now back up. Exactly. Now go back to chilling. Now get ready to walk at him again. Do, do, you see how he's farming right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yell at you until you do it. He doesn't get to farm versus us. He just doesn't. I don't care. Yeah. See that? Look at that. That's because we pressured him, right? Cause him to make yeah, a mistake. Yeah, sure. And, and we, I mean, really, we're behind, we were behind. So, like, he had, like, a level over us. We still won. So, uh, yep, shove, jam. Jam the wave. Auto it, cue it, everything. We need to get out of here. We need back. This is not a good position for us to be in right now. Just back. Perfect. So, um, we're going to go tab, or uh, boots and cloth armor. Go ahead and press P. Uh, boots. Yep. There you go. Um, future reference, you can buy a pink and you can buy a like a health pot here. Oh, a potion. Just like one. Because he's a big sustain champion, Trindomir, so he now we have a level on him, but we're down in farm. Yeah, but that's fine. We're gonna build tabbies and he's not he's not gonna have fun once we start getting some items. I'm probably just gonna have you go tabbies and like phage and then uh black cleaver and then just go armor from there. What the hell's going on down here? It's fucking balling. I don't know that. Okay, right. so he's got he's got prio here. We don't fuck with him here. We don't fuck with him here. Back away. This is not when we harass him, okay? Do you understand why I'm telling you that? Yeah, because he's six now. He's got old He's six. Look at his fury and look at his wave. So just chill, back away. You can um, E away as well uh, in that spot. Okay. Should I try to? Yeah. Tank yeah, 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 yeah. You got enough health. You're fine. I had you go do double Doran so that um. Life steal. Yeah. Thin this out. This is a little too big. We're not gonna be able to hold this. You can queue it as well. It's one way to manage it. Yeah. I don't want the wave so big that we can't keep it. That he can just dive me? Yeah. Well, because Trindomir is like the diving king. He did, I think he just dove mid, but we're still keeping this here. He flashed an Ard. So yeah, we just keep it. If he comes top, we all in him. Okay? Okay. Because you see his, your, your teammates just ping that, right? You see them. Yeah, ping. he pinged that. He flashed Ard. Yeah. So just slow oh, push. My, yeah, actually, like yeah, actually, I don't play Ergot, so I wasn't sure. If I max this W, then it just turns... Uh, they do max E second, so it's probably not the worst thing in the world. I've played Garen too many games in a row. Yeah. Urgot, you gotta, like, hit some skill shots and stuff. Yeah. I, I played him a lot last night, and I was doing okay. But... You'll get better at the farming. I'm not gonna flame you for missing farm, because that's just, dude... <laughs> that's low-hanging fruit. Yeah, trade on this guy. Ian him. You fuck him up. Oh, dude. We cannot let him walk up. See how big our wave is? Same rules apply yeah. for you. So, yeah. Cue him. Auto him. Fuck him up. Just load into him, dude. Load into him. Cue everything. Everything. Fucking every ability. Just fucking blast him. Oh, I was waiting for my E, so... I, I don't, I don't, but why? Just fuck, it, fuck him up. He has no ult. He has no ult. Fuck him up. He's dead. Yeah, ult him. Ult him. Ult him. Pull him in. Press R. Press... He's already dead. I already ulted him. Oh, I, I was waiting on my execute. It takes time. You had it, though. You already had it. I know. I was waiting. I, I don't have to chase him. He's already died. Well, what I'm saying is you pull him in again with your R. You recast your R. It was up. Oh, you have to hit it again. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, one, I was scared. I was scared that you weren't going to do it. But two, I'm scared that the Trinomir is going to get his ult back. Oh, no. It'll automatically do it. But I didn't know you could do it yourself. Yeah. Like at the end of, I guess, the timer, it does it itself. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I was scared he was going to get his ult back. You understand? Yeah, I got you now. I didn't know that I could do that. Like, I was just waiting on the ult. Yeah. The yeah, that's pretty funny, though. I, I didn't know why you were waiting. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, I knew he was executed. He was going to die. I could see it on my screen. <laughs> okay, you need to get away from him because he can fight us with R. And, um... I mean, I'd like to back and reset. Um, try to shove. Try to shove. Try to shove. See if he'll let us, but save your E. 
Uh oh. This is bad news. Just run. Oh, he's so dumb. He's so dumb for not just killing us. Okay, just just back. You're back in cocky. I gotta get you to stop doing that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to stay now. We need to just clear this. Okay. Um, Yi's here. Save your E, though, for when he ults the Trindomir. Let the Yi do this. Let the Yi do the majority of this. You can ult him, though, to, like, pull him to you. Now press R. See? Now, he, oh, he, yeah, yeah, oh. but you see he's fucked. Like, <laughs> you see what I mean, though, with the recast? Yeah. Yeah. No, that was way better. I didn't know that. Like, That's pretty funny. And I play like a bunch of Urgot. That's great. But I had to learn that on, on Warwick Jungle, like that I could hit my E again and then like fear. I didn't know for the longest time. He wants to dive and it's correct, just so you know. It's a good play. Look at Elisa's level. See how low she is? Like the. I wouldn't flash for that. I shouldn't flash for that. This guy has no flash. This guy's nothing. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. He's fucking ridiculous. Cool. Our Yi's carrying. Go ahead and reset, though. Let's let's get on the map. Okay. Yeah, we have so much gold. I actually like that you're kind of greed backing here, though, because it makes sense. All right, well, Tabby's. I mean, me and he'll just kill yeah, yeah. Tabby's and Phage and Black Cleaver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and get your pink ward, too. Should I get my oracle? Yep. Uh, so, hey, let's look at, while you're walking top, look at bottom. So this is how you can use TP. TP behind them right now. Well, yeah, this is a good timing. Like yeah, uh, save your E and play it slow. Play it nice and slow. No rush, no rush, no rush, no rush. There you go. And now you've got the ult on the Kog'Maw if you want. Just play it slow, though. Play it real slow. Try to think about where he's running to. No, you're following him. Oh, you should be trying to get ahead of him. So he's probably going yeah, he's going to go through your jungle, go out through the uh, ramp. See? You can see him. You could probably ult him. I can see him on the minimap. Oh. Now just walk that in. Hey! See, that is a decent TP. Do not TP to bottom unless it looks like that. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Don't just no, TP like all crazy. Cool. Yeah. But you see, the only reason that we noticed is because I had you look there. If you're not looking there, you're not going to see it. Don't chase this. Don't chase this. Okay. You don't have all. You don't flash. Let's not get out of line. Careful. You're kind of being weird here. This is all weird and... Okay, unnecessary so yeah it. it's well it's just not great on ergot it takes too long you know okay. do something else play to your strengths this isn't really one of your strengths if you're playing like garen or I something my jungle right i now? would take that plant no 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 no. this All isn't right. ergot's strength your strengths is just staying in the lane and just being annoying i just didn't want to go way up here in my lane i know but we could just float you don't even have to show you could just float like you see where that tower the like, dead tower is work. Yeah. You could stand there. There's a chance you're standing on a ward. That's the problem. Okay. You're never standing on a ward on this tower. Yeah. Unless you're going to sweep it. Yes. <clears throat> and then, um, I'd probably push into this guy on this wave because you're about to have your ult. <laughs> He's like not paying attention. He's, he's flaming chat right now. <laughs> Really He's like one second I'm fed, the next second yeah. uh Ergot gets three kills. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so we can't afford black cleaver. Um and chat brought up a good point. We probably should go death stance uh second item, not tank. That's what I yeah, usually yeah, do. Yeah. I do black Oh, he didn't all <laughs> I don't know that he even he, he should have it he might have already took it see don't attack me while i'm talking ergot wanted to ult well that's a nice story that's so funny should i back right now mm, yeah i would just could have it yeah you see how i'm always trying to make you like do one thing reset this she he might be able to dive but like it's a really unnecessary play like, we don't have to do that. And it, it can just, it can only throw most of the time. 
Now, uh, go ahead and, and yeah, you know what you're building. Now, times where it's actually bad to back would be where the game's on like a timer or there's like a sense of urgency for some reason. But like, does this game feel very urgent to, to you right now? No, I mean, our ease. Like, our bottom lane's getting wrecked, but... <laughs> I've never seen somebody die like that. Yeah, um... our bottom lane's not, not doing so high. <laughs> so now we're going to stay bottom for the rest of the game and just go ham on these towers and let Yi just kind of get big and carry through Baron. My team just doesn't care about you and top lane. Lol. I love chat. I love league chat. Oh, yeah, I... That Yi is so big. Yeah, he's... Uh, I wonder if he's a smurf or if he's just like... I don't know. I'm going to see. I'm going to look him up real quick. Go ahead and keep pushing bottom. He could be a smurf, actually, because uh, it's his first game on this account, and he's like... Squashing. I don't I don't I don't even know how he's in this game because you're low elo like you're in like bronze. I don't know how that's possible. Cuz you shouldn't you don't start in bronze like silver. You have to lose a few to get into bronze. Yeah, I just got out of bronze. Yeah, it's very weird that his, his account has no history on it. So yeah, you're just chilling. We just push. Um right now he's doing all the work. We don't have any other play to make other than just get keep. the thing is to remember when you're stomping like this or when your team's stomping, I don't want you to think to just like over push and throw. You need to control the game. Like, yeah, we don't want to like group with Yi and like push. And then all of a sudden they get a bunch of XP and we're behind. Our Ergot's also kind of binary in that his, um, he's very like a stat stick. So if you're not keeping up, with the pace of the game, you're not playing like an assassin where you can come back. Like you need to be even or ahead with Urgot. Otherwise you oh, walking sure. at people doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, I would flank. Yeah, flank is good. No, no, no. Flank is good. Oh. Like look in mid. Your team sieging. You see mid? That's what I meant by flank. But don't, 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 don't. Oh no. Oh. I don't like that play. I don't like that play because he's dead to you anyways. Okay. I think they're... <laughs> I think they've had enough. But we'll see. Um, You can just poke. Just save your E to peel for your team. It's a 4v3, so... We're not in love with it. Uh, this is good. Go, go, go. You see Yi's coming on the he's side? Going, yeah. yeah, so you should you should try to sync because we know how big Yi is. You can flash engage it just to try it, just to learn. Oh, nice try. Flash. That's fine. No, I, I, it's fine to, to make an attempt and fail. It's fine. I, it's the fact that you're trying, right? That you're learning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were not. Uh, does a lot of damage. Yeah, they had a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. I I wasn't really yeah, worried about that because if more. I felt like if they did that, this is how it was going to end. Like, what that the Yi was just going to. Yeah, if they one. if they try to full on engage versus you, um, one hundred percent, your your team's going to win. So yeah, no, I like the uh, I like the resistance item more. Yeah. I could probably sell this. this is, no, no, side. you get more. You get more value out of the uh, Dorn's blade. Yeah, just keep it. Keep your ward. That's fine. I don't. I think the game's over. You TP, right TP now. out, TP out to secure the win. Like TP to the uh, yeah. There you go. And run right at run right at somebody. <laughs> yeah, keep hitting base. Does your W hit base? Does your W hit base? Uh, yeah, but no, you. It will, but if there's people, it's gonna it's yeah, gonna yeah, aggro yeah. them. I was just wondering if you could have turned it on sooner. If I, I don't think you would have been able to end, but like, it's all good. At least we tried. That's yeah, I wanted to. I well, Yi entered at the end because he's just like smurfing. He doesn't care. But like, ideally, Yi would have hit the nexus, and you would have W the nexus, and then you would have uh, ended the game. Yeah, that's why I had you do that. I know that looked empty, but it, it makes sense. Sell the Doran's blade now, and you can get your CDR. Yeah, there you go. 
Well, it looks like three wins in a row unless we somehow monster throw here, but I, I really don't see how... For the record, the champion that I lose the most to when I'm smurfing is Yi. So I just don't see how you guys ever lose to a fed with a fed Yi on your team. Fed Jax is not good either. Fed Jax the other one. Yeah, he's the other one. Oh, they just ripped But him. I ban I ban no. Jax mostly, so uh Okay, so Yi's got the flank. Go in. Go in and be cocky. You're good. Make sure you're watching the minimap. You'll get better at this because it didn't look like you saw that flank coming. I did not. Ult somebody, that. yeah, ult somebody good like that, yeah. Oh. He's just murdering everybody, but that that was good. That's what you that's what you want to look for. I would have hit him. Yep, but nope, that's completely fine. Like, you're not always going to have this guy on your team, so just... <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Unfortunately. <laughs> then, you, then you won't be the CLO for very long. Yeah. You always have this guy on your team. I don't even need to hit that. I just need yeah. to go up here. Cool. Let's look at VOD real quick before I shut this down. Yeah, well, this is more technical. Orgot's more technical. Um, just because you got the skill shots and everything. Um, he's a little bit more... Like, I know I would have stomped that lane if I didn't miss... You, yes, thing. you would have fucking... Like, you would have destroyed... I would have just destroyed my top lane. We'll see if he would have face checked us eventually. Yep. <laughs> we probably would have killed him. Right you wouldn't have there. killed him. You, you, you wouldn't have killed him, but you would have. He how it would have went is you would have autoed him, eat him, then he would have eed, right? Or you might have caught him mid e, which would have been hilarious. Um, and you would have had him at like half health before lane starts. That's why. By the way, that's why I have you do stuff like this. Um, just future reference okay. because I really want these advantages and I really want you recognizing like if I look for them I'll get them um, Urgot's pretty good early yeah, I got you. Uh, some champions you're gonna learn some champions will whoop your ass level one but I think Urgot's actually probably one of the better level ones in the game if I'm not mistaken um, so he should play pretty well yeah, Urgot those. level one two and three are all strong yeah uh, champions I would look out for trying to fight early like that would be like Fiora uh, I would stay away from her level one, but like most champions, you're gonna destroy level one. Set, yeah, you. Well, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It might be pretty even. I. But hey, if you ever like see how I'm just theory crafting, I will always just say if you don't know, try. <laughs> Fair enough. Because like, why not? You know what I mean. You, yeah. you need to know because if you don't know the advantage, or if you don't know that there's an advantage there, um, there's a good chance your opponent doesn't know either. And so the next time you see that situation, and this is the elo, by the way, to learn that shit. Like, you're gonna oh, climb. Sure you yeah, you're it. gonna climb regardless, dude. If you just keep working at it. So limit test the fuck out of everything. Just be like, you know, once you're ahead, really try to push boundaries on people. Obviously stay within the framework that I've been telling you, like back after you have an advantage, all that stuff. But like, yeah. loosen up when it, when it makes sense, loosen up. So here, you auto auto so this was yeah this was the first arrow so right you here. could just keep autoing him as you walk backwards don't get in the habit of just like full-on disengaging always try to sneak in an auto and that's you'll get better at that over time so this was the first thing i yelled at you about um every time you have a wave crashing and you're in charge are you there Okay, yeah. I was just making sure because my Discord wigged out. So every time you have a wave crashing like this, I really want you... Um, hold on. I really want you just walking this in and just like poking at him. You know what I mean? Auto yeah, aim, yeah. yeah. Just don't... I think I started after. You, when the minion, when the minions like get to like one minion left, obviously just pull off because you don't want to, you don't want to yeah, you receive don't want to a big trade because you are got a wave following, right? That's not good either. Yeah. But see, this is where, yeah, this is where I want this constant. Yeah, because I could have poked. So, the, talking about the ease, this is where I was harping on you about just kind of slowing it down. A good way to do this is every champion has a gap close. And if you can kind of read what they're going to do, you don't have to play Trinomir to know that it's possible that he ease. You know what I'm saying? The E is his dash, by the way, or his spin. So I'll yeah. give you an example. So when he spins like this, 
if you react correctly, all you have to do, like he was here, he's going this way, you know that the spin goes this way, you can just E him right when you see the animation. Yeah, because you can just E to where he's going. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say, yes. Then as soon as he lands, you'll flip him. Yeah, and he's pretty dead. If he does this versus Urgot, like, if you don't kill, like... Yeah, but you're gonna you're gonna destroy. No, him I'm here. saying level two. I have my W, so if I hit him with the E, it automatically, it'll automatically aim on him. Yeah, yeah. Like if I was Trindamir, if I did this to an Urgot, I'm basically trolling. Is how I view this. Like, <laughs> this is just I'll get mur- you get murdered for doing this often, but you'll get better at it anyways because you now that you see it. And this holds true for any champion with a dash. So like, um, say for example. Uh, Aurelia, a classic, I, I don't know if you faced Aurelia's before, but like, they like to jump to minions when they're low because it resets their dash, right? Okay. So what you can do is like, if a minion gets low, you can just prime up your E right when it's super low and you can catch them with it sometimes. Because they'll dash to it, you'll deny it, and then, uh they'll be stuck basically they'll just kind of lose i'm just giving you an example like any champion yeah. with a dash that's very telegraphed you can always kind of predict where it's going to go so there you kind of just rushed it a little bit try to think about where he's going before you go for the e makes it a lot easier instead of just kind of going based on oh i see a shiny guy i'm just going to throw it at him try to visualize his trajectory it makes it a lot better so here we probably yeah yeah problem with this is just Quick turret shot tank. I probably wouldn't be standing so close though. Once your E's on cooldown, um, I know this Trinomir yeah, has teleport. Yeah, you're very vulnerable. This Trinomir has teleport, so he's pretty, I don't know. He's not very strong here, but he can kill you. If he gets lucky crits, he can kill you. Yeah. Um, I don't, it's probably like 10% of the time he can kill you in this situation maybe, but like it's possible. So just be careful. Because you see how you walk up while you still got four seconds left? You see the four seconds on the yeah. bottom left? Yeah, just be careful with that. So just wait until it's off. Yeah, yeah. Once it's... I, well, if it was off, I could eat him right here. Yes, exactly. So, like, you would have backed off and then walked up to bait him right as it's coming off cooldown. And this is the same shit that I was teaching you with the uh, Garen, too. I want you constantly pulling off. And then as the cooldown's coming up, I want you swinging in. You see what I mean? Okay. You're so like giving right when it's about. yes because that this way game, they're like, oh, I saw on cooldown. Yeah, that and just in general, like, well, in the case of Garen specifically, since he's manaless, you can just they fucking never. you can just remember I was telling you to Q fake with Garen, like constantly. Yeah, yeah it's just it's 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 not only in his case like he's manaless, so you can just do that. But with Urgot, yeah, like you need to you really want to clip people as soon as your cooldown's up because. It's about pressure. I mean, really, the game's about pressure. And if, if as soon as you have the ability, you're looking to pressure, that's good, right? If you waste five, six, seven seconds every time that you have your E up and you're not looking for it, well, we're not getting value out of that ability or the threat of that ability. So we flash away because we're a little scared, rightfully so. Um, and then here, he beats us because, yeah, we missed I the E. Missed if I didn't miss, then I kill him. That's yeah, 100%. I engage that. I knew if I him, I but this is um again think about how you can get beat obviously you're new so it's not i mean you're just theory crafting until the reps are there um but in this case right we know that trinomere potentially can spin so like how it, the only way we can lose is if we miss the e yeah which i know that's very uh what's the it's the korean advice or whatever where i'm just like don't miss the e yeah, yeah, but realistically, that's that's what it boils down to. Just don't fucking miss the E then. Just don't miss it because if you miss it, you're doomed. It would be better. The best way to do it is if he spins, let him auto attack you and get in that animation of auto attacking because most Trindamirs aren't going to cancel their auto attack animation ever. They're never going to cancel an auto attack. Like once they go to auto attack you, it's going to happen. And then that you can just E off of that. Okay. So like, let me show you what I mean right there. That's when you would E. There's no way he gets by it. Yeah, then I E him there and kill him. See? Yeah. It's kinda it's kinda dark soulsy. Top lane is very dark soulsy in that like whoever whoever misses like an animation sometimes that decides the whole lane. Um so just kinda kinda try to visualize it before, but that's whatever happens. Let's see if there's anything else.
Yeah, this is where I just had to just drill into this guy. I loved it. Now that, yeah. See how he gets that for free? Should never happen. Yeah, I should have walked See, up. look at your cooldown in your Q. Or your yeah, e. I would have killed him. So you could walk it into him there. If he, if he gets cocky, you just kill him. Basically, you need to test him. Remember what I said earlier today about like... Uh, you need to constantly be having that dialogue with your opponent, like, are you stupid? Yeah, are you? Are you this dumb? Is your IQ this low? Like, that's pretty much all. So, like, when he goes for this, your brain should be like, he wants this. They've been turned already. Yeah. Oh, he wants this. Okay. And then you just stand here. And I I do this thing with my side mouse button where I have a stop command. I don't know if you do that. Um, but, like... My side mouse button is stop, so the way I would have played this is I would have been all cocky about it. And I would have just walked here and pressed my stop command and just sat there. You know what I mean? And just let them... Yeah, uh, that way. Yeah. Just tell him. You're telling him with, like, almost... You're almost, like, communicating with just a random... Like, that move of just standing there all of a sudden and not even auto-attacking gets in people's heads. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but it's... <laughs> no, I, mean, I get it. Yeah, it's... And he's like... By what he knows he can't walk up. Yeah, you literally just stop there and you're like, are, are you really going to do it? And you just... Like he could eat. Yeah. But that's it. If he eats, he's dead. I kill him. He'll get exactly. it. He'll get it. But yeah, he's dead if he tries to do that. So, um, one more thing real quick. I just wanted to load up the... Uh, I think it was the Teemo game. But yeah, dude, uh, considering that you're brand, 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 brand new to this game, this is not bad at all. This is very, very, very manageable. I can tell you've played other games, and this is just like a clunky mess. <laughs> it, it's mostly like, I know my mechanics are terrible, so I don't usually play games like this where you click. Yeah. Like, Paragon was third person, but, so you have to like aim like a first person shooter. Yeah. But I get like the map, like, watching what's going on everywhere else yeah more than most people that i play against that you open this actually really well um do you That's if you were going to disengage but no 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 no. if you're going to disengage just disengage to this okay that way he can't auto -move. yeah i i probably would have been cocky and went for a couple more autos but that's just how i am because then what yeah. I would have done is oh, I would I have went... had a Q again. Oh, no, I didn't. No, no, you have a long time. But my my logic of this is like, I know I'm Garen with Doran Shield. And so even if I take a terrible trade, I'm cocky and I'll just do it just so I can heal up back here and get through his his pots or whatever. Which I don't know why he, why he did this start. This is dumb. I don't either. You're not into a Garen. I would rather, uh, I guess, Doran's Ring or like Doran's Blade if you're that kind of Teemo. <laughs> But anyways, I yelled at you about this already, so I'm not gonna lie. I just want you to see it again so you understand. Every time he cues us, cancels our passive. Or every time he autos us, it cancels our passive. And so, like, if you must go for farm, just use your W like you did here. And then just chill. And see how you gave up farm there? That was actually really good. It's okay to give up farm. You'll be fine. Okay. Because most of these players are going to farm terribly anyways. There, yeah. The ignite would have been great. Uh, and then just back up and farm. And let Hecarim do the job. Yeah, thankfully... Yeah, Hecarim got the kill. Thankfully, it worked out. Um, I just would like to keep our flash. Because our flash is what allows us... Uh, uh, Garen's a big flash-reliant champion. Yeah, because you have an engage, but you don't have a disengage. So yeah, well, that and just in general, play. as you climb, you're going to deal with players that know what you do. And the only way you're going to get to them is like max range flash. Okay. Like, because they're going to, because they see, like, most players don't face Garens that build the way that I'm having you build. So they're not going to be used to being executed. But as you climb and people start seeing you getting fed, they're going to try to avoid you more often. So you're not just going to be able to walk up and queue most players. Okay. Like, you, you, if you're facing... That's what I was saying earlier. Like, if you're facing me on Teemo, there's no, there is no way you're going to be able to queue me ever for free. Like, you're going to have to flash to, to do the all-in. 
It's just how it's gonna go. Either you're gonna have to flash to get the Q, or you're gonna have to flash to finish the all day. One or the other. Okay. Just because. But yes, the newbie players, they'll give you this shit all day. They'll, you know, they'll give you a, a free Q. Just because they don't know any better. So, this is why I yelled at you a little bit, because... Wait, no, it was, it was the other side. It was when he was pushing to us. Yeah, that's right. You were going to get into my turret. I just wanted to show you this again so you can visualize it for the future. And I just wanted to mark to some watch things. My boss. That would probably help me a lot. Yeah, yeah. You can always you can always look him over. And then obviously you'll have this replay to look at what you're doing wrong when you aren't like in the hot seat, so to speak. Yeah. Um, so when you're facing Timo, so you had you do this thing where you feel like you have to sit in front of the tower here. This is you can trade this health. Like, this is fine. Uh, you can just give away some damage. It's not a big deal. Um, because... Uh, view it like this. How do we beat Teemo? Uh, Out-leveling him. Out-leveling him, but how do we kill Teemo, I should say? Well, I mean, I got a Q and E and then O. Yes, and you're not going to be able to do that if your health I, is low. Yeah. Right? So, that's why a lot of this lane... I'm willing, I'm more than willing to sacrifice, I'm more than willing to sacrifice minions, tower health, like, because I need that threat. Okay, so that he knows I can come and kill him. Exactly. If you're, there's a line, if you're under, like, this line, it's kind of shaky to go for him because he does have ignite up here. Yeah, and he has his blind. Yeah, so, like, if we're not careful... When we go, when we do turn on him, it's not going to be very clean. But if our health is really high, he always knows. Like this, Garen can literally queue and flash on me at any time if I'm not careful. That's what you're trying to communicate. So here you walk up, and this is the thing that I want to break you out of. This is the last thing I wanted to show you today. Yeah, so right. you were doing the right thing this whole lane phase, and as soon as that crashes under tower. As soon as that crashes under tower, it's like you abandon it and immediately dump all your health. See, watch. See that? Yeah. You just dump it. And the way you would play it is the same way you've been playing it. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. It was literally just what you were doing before. You walk up and you should have just calmly... Walk up, auto, maybe W, and then you could do like an auto attack reset on something. Just don't give him all of those autos. Give him like one, maybe. Okay, I got you. You know? Or yeah. fucking walk right through and just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fake him or something. Yeah, well, I was trying to hit level six because I was ahead of him. In oh, I see, yeah. But six. the thing is, but here's the thing. But that, I gave him all my health here, so I couldn't do that. But the, the thing is, too, you don't have to rush. Think about it. He's not going to get level six before you anyhow. Oh, yeah, because the wave's going to get stuck. This wave, tower. yeah. So this wave here, no, he, I got you. he's not getting any XP from this. So, yeah, I yeah. see what you're saying. I should just be patient, wait for these to go, then I'll hit six. Then you hit six, then you loosen up on him, and then we start doing those, uh, those like, those Q fakes. That's for lack of a better term. Or fishing. Yeah. Fishing. That's where you start fishing for, like, all right, is this guy an idiot? All right, that's all I want to show you, dude. I hope this helps you. No, for, for sure. Um, yeah. Like let me know in like a week or so. I tell everybody, let me know in like a week or so how it's, go how it's going. And uh, yeah, I don't think you'll have any issue. Um, definitely, it's all reps. And yeah, real-time strategy game is a really good uh, side hustle if you want to get your, uh, just your general like map movement up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Awesome.